Hello, Welfare Line. Fatty S. McBoy here. Um, gonna change things up a little bit. Gonna take a page out of the uh, Jeff Grosso book of uh, internet shows. This one is gonna be a rant and rave. A uh, couple topics have been uh, popping up on the line the last couple of weeks. Um, I generally am not a triggered kind of a person. I like to step back. I like to to look at things um, from a you know a different perspective. I like to like check all sides, if you will. Um, so this particular topic popped up a couple times. Popped up again today, and um, I'm just gonna throw my two cents in. Because opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one. Let's talk a little bit about legendary pro skateboarder Dwayne Peters. All right, some of you know exactly where I'm going with this, and uh, whether you agree or not, it's not. It's not up to. Uh, it's not up to me. It's not up to you. Start your own TV show. But um, Dwayne Peters, he's been going off the rails uh, for quite some time now, like the last couple of years. Um, he's slipped back into. Uh, drug habit, he disappeared for months on end, uh, he was wanted by the law, and um, fans of Dwayne Peters, who I count myself as one, um, he was an uh, influence on me growing up, and, uh, and, and I, wholly I like the man, but lately, the past couple months, he's really, how do I say it? Um, I don't want to say losing it, he just, alright, let's get to the heart of the matter. Homophobia. The man is a homophobe, through and through. Um, last month or so, he's definitely made no bones about it. And if you're a fan of Dwayne Peters, like I am, it is 100% possible to like his legacy but dislike what he is doing today. And you do not have to endorse it. You do not have to even accept it, okay? I love what he's done in the past. At one point, he was one of the world's top skateboarders. I love his style. I love the way he skates. He's unhinged. He doesn't know what he's doing from one wall to the next in his skateboarding. And to me, that is what skateboarding is all about. But what it is not about is being a homophobic asshole. And that's what Dwayne is, okay? Plain and simple, if he were here today, I would tell him to his face. I met the guy in person back in the 90s. We hung out for two days. I had no problems with him back then. He didn't even, I didn't even see this side of him back then. But regardless, there's no excuse whatsoever, whether you're losing your mind, whether you're on a drug trip, whatever the fuck you want to call it, there's no excuse for it none whatsoever if you support Dwayne's opinion on that please consider yourself not my friend. I have always had the ability to read people pretty well um, and see where they're coming from and see where they're going and let me give you my point of view of what is happening with Dwayne Peters right now Dwayne Peters long time ago uh, made a decision to be an anti-establishment punk rocker and skateboarder and he has stuck with it so much so that it has hurt his personal life to the point where last year he cut off all ties with any, any sponsor he may have had um, he, in the last year, has made it a point to um, belittle, insult, and even, and then just plainly out of the fucking blue, make up outrageous shit about his cohorts in the skateboarding industry. I'm talking about calling Tony Hawk a murderer, um, calling Steve Van Doren from Vance a pedophile. Um, it just, it's the the drugs. I'm not saying the drugs are an excuse, but the drugs have pushed him in his mind 
to the point where where he's at today with the with the homophobia and with the, the Trump thing, which is another topic I don't want to get into. Um, it, 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 all this stuff makes him feel like this is the way to be, to reject society, which was one of the early early precepts of punk rock. And it, he's, he's digging himself a hole that he can't get out of. There's, there's no coming back from this. He has cut all ties whatsoever. He could be sitting back and enjoying the resurgence of 80s skateboarding like a lot of the pro, our favorite pros from back in the day who have pro models out, they're traveling the world, they're getting paid what they deserve to get paid. There's nothing wrong with getting paid, Dwayne, for the stuff that they deserve. They're all doing it. But Dwayne has just, for lack of a better term, gone off the deep end and is just separate. You know, there's nowhere to go from here. Where does he go? All right, he's got people on his Instagram that are cheering him on and way to go, Dwayne. That's fucking punk rock. There's nothing punk rock about what he's doing right now. Nothing. Zero. There's nothing punk rock about homophobia. There's nothing punk rock about Donald Trump. You can support Trump. I'm not judging you on that. But I'm telling you right now, if you think Donald Trump is some kind of punk rock, you are, you have, you're you so far off base, you have no fucking idea. There's nothing punk rock about what he is doing. There's nothing punk rock about hating people for their sexual choices in life. Nothing at all whatsoever. So, as I stated earlier, you can be a fan of Dwayne Peters, the skateboarding legend, which I am. I'm a fan of the guy, like I said earlier. But you do not have to support what he is doing now. It, you don't have to. You don't have to agree with him. You don't have to defend him. It's possible to be a fan and not be a fan of what he's talking about these days. So that's all I'm trying to say here. So, on that note, if for whatever reason, you support what he is actually saying today and the past few months on his Instagram, don't talk to me, man. I don't want no part of you. Plain and simple. If we're Facebook friends, please unfriend me. If you see me in the streets, don't talk to me because I am not a fan of it whatsoever at all. Plain and fucking simple. So to just wrap this up, you don't have to be a homophobe to be a fan of Dwayne's. Um, and you can support the homosexual community without being a homosexual, without being related to a homosexual, just being you. You were allowed to do it. You were not a snowflake. You were not a libtard. You are what is known as a human fucking being. And as a human fucking being, you were supposed to care about other human beings. We are only on this rock flying through space for a short amount of time and we need, to, it's very very important that we all get along because I'm telling you right now this infighting between I don't want to get into it, you know where I'm going with it alright you are not a snowflake, you are not a libtard if you support the LBGT community plain and fucking simple so, I think I'm done now. I'm repeating myself. Um, well, Fairline, I love you. I hope you enjoy uh, the rest of your work week and into your weekend. And uh, we'll catch you next time. All right, so be good. And if you can't be good, don't get fucking caught.